Alright guys, so I decided to do another video on this uh, just so that y'all could get a better view of the workflow. So uh, if you're in the front view, come up here, go to the top. This is the best way to do it. I like to zoom out a little bit. After you've separated uh, your motion captured uh, animations or whatever or brought your animations in and set them up on the character, uh, the first thing you're going to do if you don't have any root motion on the animation but your character is moving like for example right here you'll see that I have no motion at all on the root it's all on the pelvis so I want to get that over to the root and I want to get it all aligned and straightened out properly so the first thing you're gonna do is you're gonna have to right click on the animation go to root motion and go to sample hip to root and that will allow you to align, to use this align tool right here, the motion direction controller, to zero everything out. Now, if this is a backwards one, uh, it's probably going to have him, uh, it's probably going to have him like this, but the arrow is going to be pointing down, and he's going to be walking backwards, but actually be forwards so on those what you would do is is you would just add a 180 degree z offset uh, for the walk backwards uh, that way he's facing back or he's facing forward but he's walking backwards uh, on the forward ones though uh, you're just going to leave it like this same with left and right if it's a strafe left or strafe right you're just going to zero everything out and so after you've done that and you've aligned it, now you can come over, or well, actually, I guess you could go ahead and go to your modify edit motion layer and select these aqua blue things on the legs, these controls, and set them to FK. If you don't, then they will not move when, you, when you're transferring the, pelv uh, the root to the pelvis. So you're going to come to the, down to the base motion layer, unlock it because it's locked by default. And you're going to come over here to your curve editor. If you don't uh, know how to get to your curve editor animation layers, it's F11 and F12. Or come up here to the windows and select it. After you've done that, you can press this little button here to frame it. And you'll see all this motion we have on the root on the X. We're just going to highlight all of that. Make sure everything is selected, press Control c zero it out, come back to the base layer, select the pelvis position X, and paste it. And now you're going to come back over here, and you're going to do the same thing for the rotation. You'll see, I don't know what this is about. This must be an anomaly. Uh, I hope I didn't mess anything up on that one, but we're just going to copy that. We're going to zero it out and then we're going to paste it onto the pelvis let me see here though no nothing abnormal is happening that must have been something on the motion capture data that caused that i won't worry about it um but make sure you've zeroed this stuff out so you're just going to come back over here and you're going to check everything if this is a walking left or right, you're going to do that with the Y, not the X. If it's a walking forward or backward, then you're going to do it on the X, not the Y. Uh, so you should only have motion on the route in the direction that you're actually traveling, and that's it. So after you've done that, you can come back over here. We're just going to scrub through it, make sure that there's nothing funny with the feet. If the feet are doing something funny, come back here and check and make sure they're set to FK. Then go to FK mode, select the bone, uh, the root bone, and make sure everything is correct. So you should only be getting motion on the axis in which the character is actually moving. So if he's jumping, uh, you have to uh, you have to have motion on the Z because you want it to follow him through the air. And yeah, that's pretty much it. So. Uh, if it is a jumping animation, you would go to root motion and sample hip to root XYZ, not XY. Uh, 
only use XYZ if it's a jumping animation. Don't use it if it's not. Uh, in fact, I'm not even sure if it would be a good idea. You might want to manually transfer it uh, uh, if it's a jumping. I don't know. I haven't tested that out. I'll get back to you guys on that. But after you've done that, you're going to go and flatten all layers. And it looks like, yeah, make sure you press this because I didn't. And as you see, there was a gap there. Uh, it shouldn't be a problem, but let's go ahead and make sure that there's no funky motion or rotation on the end where it was not being uh, set as the end frame. After you've done all that, you can just save this as you normally would an animation, and there you go. Uh, if you guys have any questions, make, feel free to ask down in the comments. Make sure to like this and subscribe. All right, guys, uh, I decided to go ahead and uh, extend this one. So I'm going to show you all how to do one for like a left or a right. Apparently, it's a little bit different, but it's still the same principle. So you just sample hip to root, and then you go to align it. And you'll notice something is that it's still facing forward. So actually, for this one, all I have to do is do 90 and this is a left and that's pretty much it as far as alignment for uh, these go uh, same same thing so we just need to make sure that every time we flatten our layers it's going to reset these so you're going to have to make sure that you set them back to FK after every time if you're doing more than one animation, such as I am. Always make sure you press this button so you don't screw stuff up and make sure you save this as a separate motion, not over the top of the one that you're currently working on. So again, just go to base layer, go to your curves, control C, zero it out. On this one, we're going to do this for the Y because this is an, a left animation, so we need the X. And so we'll do position Y here. And then we're just going to come back and we're going to look at all these others and make sure we only have movement on the X. And so, with that out of the way, and making sure that these are FK, not IK, I'm gonna select this and scrub through it, and you'll see that we only have motion on the X, which is what we wanted. Okay guys, uh, if you have any other questions, feel free to ask down in the comments again for the second time make sure to like if you found this helpful and subscribe